Hello folks, the Gome Cat and I have some exciting announcement for you here today and uh, while he gets to grips with his latest cleaning duties uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we've got on the bench here. So folks, what we've got here is our old friend uh, that you won't have seen on the channel for some time, uh, but it does not mean that it's been forgotten. Our Tesla Model 3 rear drive unit inverter. Now when we last saw this uh, particular specimen, oh, great. When we last saw this particular specimen, um, you will have seen me removing the uh, TMS 320 microcontroller um, having worked out, I think, actually forget now, it's been that long, uh, but I believe I've worked out what I think nine out of 10 of the pins uh, were assigned to. And uh, of course that information has been published on GitHub. So over the intervening time, I've been working on various versions of these kind of little uh, mod boards, as it were, with the intention that we would adapt the STM32 F1 uh, processor pinout uh, to match the pinout of the TMS320. And that something like this could then be, be basically soldered um, onto the footprint uh, on the original PCB and basically give us um, open source control of our Model 3 drive unit. Now, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I haven't been uh, kind of, I guess, doing a lot of uh, public work on this has been the fact that I've been going around some various ideas with these boards and trying various combinations of uh, PCB materials and PCB processes and trying to find the best way to get an adapter board to work. I did come up with something thanks to PCB way that would probably work for us. Now, some of you may recall, some of my long suffering viewers may recall that in the initial uh, stages when I was looking at this I said that we would either go for a mod board or in some utopian fantasy uh, whereby somebody would port the open inverter firmware uh, to run on the TMS320 microcontroller and uh, wow and to my absolute amazement, um, guess what? Well, someone has done just that for us, or is in the uh, process of doing just that. And so here I have a shiny new, I'm going to be able to see it, here he comes, TMS320F 28377D processor, which we will be refitting um, onto this PCB here in the coming days. Now, <clears throat> couple things uh, that are worth pointing out at this stage, because I know that the, the first question is going to be, oh, does this mean we don't need to remove the processor? No, it does not. Because again, some of my long suffering viewers may recall that I had attempted to access the OEM processor via the JTAG port here, which is what this little guy is. And sure enough, Elon's boys had uh, locked it down. Uh, so we cannot simply go in through the JTAG port, erase the Muskian code from the original processor and inject our sexy new open source code. So. It does mean that the processor does need to be remo removed and I suppose ra rather uh, wastefully replaced with the exact same processor but without all of the code security module stuff enabled on it so that we can program 
uh, this guy with our new uh, ported firmware. Uh, so I'm not going to mention names or anything like that um, because uh, it's just not for me to decide if the person responsible wants to be named. Uh, but if you take a look over on the Open Inverter Forum thread where we're working on this, uh, you will see some of the contributions being made. So I'm not going to bore you too much to tears today, folks. Just wanted to make this a quick update video for you. Uh, let you know that we are indeed still, this project is still very much alive. Um, so what I'd say is, um, uh, I'm going to try and see if, you know, what I can do to support, support this. I'm much more of a hardware uh, than a software guy. Um, like I said, I worked out what most of the pins did. Um, and it's now in the hands of the software gods, uh, or God in this case, to um, basically port the code over. But what I am going to do pretty soon, so I'm going to put this chip on here. I did damage one pad during the initial investigation, so I'm going to just patch that up with a little bit of wire. And uh, then basically need to make up a connector for the JTAG here because this is a horrendously tiny JTAG connector. So I'm going to try and make a little board to break that out into something more accessible. Or if indeed anyone knows where I can buy a pre-crimped um, connector, for this guy that would be fantastic because it's just horrendously tiny the the crimps i can't even you know i can't even see the crimps nearly they're like grains of rice actually maybe about half the size of a grain of rice even the gome cat with his predator vision would have difficulty uh seeing that um so anyway uh, that's where things are at with our Model 3 drive unit. So we are still, thanks to this contribution, now very much on course to not only having open source um, control of the drive unit, but also being able to utilize the microcontroller that was originally designed into this. So we'll have a lot of the kind of neat features like the ability to talk SPI to the um, gate drivers and the power supply and do, you know, whatever else that we need to do here to make this little Muskian design a happy place. So, like I said, won't bore you to death, folks. I'll leave it there. Uh, we will Catch you in the next semi-exciting installment where hopefully we'll have this uh, chip back on here and maybe even some of those musky and LEDs flashing. So, as always, whatever you do, um, don't forget to dislike, do not share, do not subscribe. In fact, if you are subscribed, unsubscribe from this ridiculous channel. Uh, check the links in the description where you'll see um, links for the GitHub where we have info on this and indeed lots of other projects, Open Inverter Forum, uh, Patreon and PayPal in case you want to financially support any of this craziness. But again, it's probably best if you don't because then I just do more of this and you know then maybe I could even pay people to do more of this and that would encourage more of this. And No, God no, don't do any of that. God, that's stupid. Okay, so, in which case, uh, the Gome Cat and I will see you in the next episode. And until then, happy Texas instrumenting. Ing? <laughs>